Today's adventure brings us to Texas. Gonna be motoring through the panhandle across Interstate 40. Good old Texas. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here and the old Cody standing in front of, I believe this is a an old Stuckies. Now I'm gonna be seeing some things. Are you cold? I'm a little chilly. You're I'm not used to this weather at all. You're not, the Florida, the humidity is thick. There's not a lot of humidity here this time no, of the year. The cold weather's thick here. That's what. That's what's. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to keep us out of the wind. We're kind of under this little overhang. Let's just let's just get let's just get moving. I'm inviting you to join me and Cody. Is that how you gotta stay warm? That's how I'm staying warm. I gotta kinda keep moving right now. It's pretty chilly, dude. I'm not used to this at all. Shall you? Certainly in windmill territory. Quite a few over there on the horizon. I always like this saying. One today is worth two tomorrows. Words to live by. It's warm in the car, we got the heat on. Just took the camera out the window to get this shot. <laughs> Cause Cody ain't want to get out. Cody don't want to get out. Cody don't want to get out. We're gonna have to at some point. I don't want to. Hey, hold the camera still. Keep it just like that. I'm gonna. We're gonna get a little driving. Get it moving. Oh, that's good. That's that's a good one. Nailed it. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna try it. But all the windows are still down. It's still cold. The shot's good, right? The shot's good, though. You like that? I like it. Starting to see some cloud formations as well. First few days, didn't see much of these. It was clear skies. Now some developments up there. How you doing? Oh, I see you over there. How you doing? I just doing some grazing. I just, the horse just talked to me. Making a pit stop at the dollar store. Got some full cans. Gonna need these at the next destination. Right next door, this Justice of the Peace building is unique looking. The tile work on the front there. And is that a buffalo on the mural? See them from here. Cadillac Ranch. Way over there in that field. Got to trek over to them. And after utilizing your paint cans, disperse of them in these dumpsters. But don't block them. Definitely don't block them. A few words have been blocked off. Now it says, this is nation. Please pick up trash. I think it said, this is not a national park? Maybe? A multitude of different opportunities. Let's wind through this. It's kind of this gate here. There are a multitude of pieces of signage reminding everyone do not litter. Disperse appropriately in the trash. Located in the middle of farmland, so heavily trodden and visited, there is a packed dirt path. Very prominent, almost like a sidewalk. Now, a lot of places frown on graffiti, tagging, spray painting. This is not one of those. They, they embrace it. We have to leave our mark for all to see, only to be covered up a little later in the afternoon. But for a short time, a little full can each. I'm going to tag it up. Let's do it. The only decision now is which automobile to choose from. Where do we place our names? First thing to do is to put a layer, a layer down so we can put the, the other color over the top of it. K 
could use a paintbrush, like one of those rollers. Maybe next time that would be a better investment. Give it a good thick coat. Average lifespan of any of the marks left on here is very minimal. Kind of surprised it's not as chilly. It's still windy. Maybe I'm just kind of used to it. He put a scarf on. Probably a good call. May help him with the fumes as well. Let this dry. Let it dry for a moment or two. Yep. We'll let it dry. Got ourselves a little bit of a blank canvas, bud. Just got to give it a few moments to let it dry before the next layer. Obviously, not everyone follows the no littering rule. This is where crops grow in the spring and summer. Probably a cleanup crew, but goodness. I would wager at all hours from dawn till dusk someone is out here constantly and dogs pets this is for posterity oh yeah that's good that shows up real well Double coating it. Cody the Woo. Am it? I the Woo now? Can you see it good? Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can see it. Cody and the Woo. We got to do an and on the side, bro. Oh, nope, right side, right side. This side? Yeah, that side in, in, that, in that yellow spot. Go up, over, and across. Yep, right? yep. Boom. OD and the woo. The woo. Should I double coat mine? I would. We got the paint. Do the and. Yeah. It's popping. It's popping out. It's popping out, Adam. Popping. What's better to do it with the paint cans open? Do the like the cool like arms crossed with like this? I don't know. I don't know what. Let me uh, freshen up a bit. Within a matter of seconds, we've already been tarnished. We've been covered over. That's all part of the fun. How long do you think that will last? Uh, probably not very long. I already see people out here covering up other stuff, so. It's under probably, what, 90 seconds yeah, before? Yeah, it's just gone. Yeah, that's, it is what it is. It's it is what purpose. it is. But you did it. We did it. We've left our mark. It's there forever uh, until someone covers it up. Zooming in, parts of it are still noticeable. It's still popping out there. A grand total of 10 Cadillacs. Noses buried in the ground, protruding up out of some farmland. down the ways a bit, about a half a mile is another place embracing the theming. This wacky balloon 
Swacky balloon guy. That's pretty good. That's all I got. I got confused. I for that, man. It was like a two-week dance class. It's pretty good. Behind the wheel of these are some very famous, familiar faces that you might even recognize. John Wayne. Tough to see him through the cracked windshield, but that's the Duke. Willie Nelson. They're having a staring contest. I think he's, yeah, he's gonna win. The king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Got the sweet shades on as well. Picked up a little magnet at the gift shop off site. Something for my fridge. They're way over there, tough to see them, but they're over there a distance. Worked up a little bit of an appetite. What better way to grab a snack at the burger barrel? It looks like a, a big tub barrel. Very quirky and most likely tasty. Let's get something. You order right there at the center of the barrel itself at the window. And around the back, you can tell it's attached to another piece of a building. And there's a little picnic area here where we're gonna eat the table under this awning. You went with the chili, well, the chili, 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 chili cheeseburger. It's a chili cheeseburger. Chili cheese, got the cheese in there. A little chili cheeseburger. And you got some onions? What else did you get on That's it? That's it. Just onions and cheese? Onions, cheese, and chili. And I went with just the basic burger. Got some lettuce. Also got onions. Oh, that cheese kind of melting off there. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. What are your thoughts? You know, there's one place in Atlanta that I like to get a burger from. I'm not going to mention the name. Hands down, this is on par with that place in Atlanta. For really? Chili cheeseburger. How was it? You want to do a two biter? Make your opinion? Look at that second one. What are you doing over there? I'm over here because I'm standing in the sun because it's cold. You get in the sun? The shade's a little too much? A little too much for me. My hands I'm freezing. In all reality, this is pretty dang good. You would not expect it from a little roadside stand like this, but this is a tasty burger. I would get this again next time I pass through. Cruise down the way a couple miles to K&N Root Beer, decided to get a beverage to wash down that delicious burger at another Amarillo landmark. The cat is scurrying off. This is as classic as it gets. Has the parking spots like a drive up style and the old school lights. Available in a quart, half gallon. So you can get root beer in a, in a full jug. Full jug. A few different sizes. Can I see the mug for the video? We got the small size, the large size, and this is the, what did you call this one? The Texas size. Texas size frosted mug. I think maybe we'll go with the, we'll go with the medium. Medium mug. Frosted. Just two of them? Two of them, please. All right, that's. Man. Thank you so much. Oh, we got to pay you. Hold on, I almost got to, I got a little too overexcited. This is it. Cheers it up. Cheers. Cold. Cold. Yeah. It doesn't help with you staying warm. No, it doesn't. Oh man, that's good. It's good. That is ice cold. She reminded us, do not run off with these. And they do not sell these as souvenirs. No, they don't. You can ask some kind of bump. You can only get them on site. You have to just enjoy the moment. Mine. Look at the 
That is all ice. Two good spots, just a couple miles from each other. Classic Americana beverages and meals. It's good. Yeah. I'm a root beer fan, so I like it. You were saying that root beer, root beer folks, either you love it oh, yeah. so you, you, or hate it. You only it. have two people. You either love root beer or you hate root beer. Root beer. There's no middle ground between the two. And we are both lovers of root beer. It's true. Good old root beer. Yeah. I might just go ahead and polish mine off. If it's even possible, that's cold. And it was relatively inexpensive price-wise. I was expecting it to be a little more. It's probably the cheapest root beer I think I've ever bought. And it's good. Upper echelon of one of the one of the better ones. Yeah. I bet I ain't got one of these near me. Ooh. Brisk. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a brain freeze. A little bit. Just slow it down. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you just did what you did. I was thirsty. No, thank you. That's the finished product right there. Still frosted. Ah. A little secret that I learned is you kind of take your finger in there and get a little bit of the. Looks like there's an old truck over there. Odds are it's probably spray painted also. Carried on a ways. Pulled over at the leaning water tower of Britain. It's a serious angle. So do you think that it fell like that? Or do you think it was made like that? Zooming in just a bit, those legs are off the ground. Nothing there is a gap between the earth and the metal of those legs on the left there. There also just so happens to be a miniaturized version at the top of the signage way up there. That one's also leaning. Guys closing out the evening with a, a little snack, a little meal. Don't let me bother you. Oh, no, no, don't let me bother you. You get back to your, get back to your chow. Keep on munching. That's a good spot right there. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop. Up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell, and if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. See you in the next video of the vlog. It's over.